Hey guys, what's up? It's been some time I made a video and there's a lot of buzz in the market about the Galaxy Note 9. So I thought it's the best time to make a video about it. Some say it has the best display in the history of smartphones and some say it has the highest capacity battery and some even say it is the best smartphone camera in the world. So let's find out. So without waiting much, let's get it started. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, do press the subscribe button and do not forget to smash the bell icon to get notifications. I buy my review products myself and I will be really thankful if you can support me so that I can make more interesting videos. Well this is how the packaging looks like. It has the signature S Pen for the Note 9 devices that is known for Samsung Galaxy Note 9 branding at the side uh, pricing information at the back it has two IMEI numbers because it supports two sims here nothing on this side and uh, here we have the specs list here well this is huge guys so the base version comes with the 128 GB duos so that means you can use two sims that I already told you and if you don't want to use the secondary sim you can use a memory card that is expandable up to a whopping 512 gb so this is something good that samsung has done this time because uh, earlier notes used to start with the 64 gb version but this is quite good and it has a 12 camera with uh, a, a, and dual rear camera and it also has varying aperture of 1.5 and 2.4 depending on the light that comes in it has super slow motion 8 megapixel auto focusing selfie camera it has the ID scanner which is also with the note 8 and the note 7 S Pen with remote control I will come to you later about this so this is one of the unique features the note 9 has this time it is a 6 GB of RAM, stereo speakers tuned by AKG, earphones tuned by AKG, it has also Dolby Atmos built into it, and a 4000 mAh battery, wireless charging, and IP68 water and dust resistant. The battery is also one of the most discussed features of the Note 9, because after the Note 7 fiasco, they were very skeptical about putting huge, huge battery capacities in the Note 8, and then again in note 9 they are back with the huge battery so let's start what's inside the box now so this is i really like the packaging here looks quite premium well yes you are paying a premium from this as well uh and this is where you open it from this side so this is how it looks and you have to pull this up first i thought the phone will be here but uh, let's see what's inside this well it's a back uh, plastic protective cover silicon cover put it aside this is the user manual you should definitely read this and there is the sim clip here i'll keep this aside and here is the galaxy note 9 itself well this is huge guys this is a 6.4 inch amoled super amoled display and uh, let's see how it looks i got the blue version and guys this is uh, not a review unit i bought it myself for my own personal use so this is how the phone looks like yeah yes i've been using the note for device for some time starting with the note one the note four and this is my third known which is the note nine and uh, i was talking about the cameras here dual cameras flash the fingerprint scanner is here this side earlier noted the fingerprint scanner was here is quite difficult to reach now it's quite good but yeah this is a huge phone and then few people still might have some issues reaching the fingerprint scanner but yes we'll come back to it later let's see what else is there in the box so this is here is the 
adaptive charger this is a first charger few phones have started with uh, qualcomm 3 but i think the samsung is going still ahead with uh, 2.0 so this is the charger here um and this is a usb to usb c converter you can use your micro usb pen drives here or you can maybe even connect a mouse a microsoft micro uh, you know micro usb keyboard so all these things it's good samsung is provided out of the box here let's see what is here inside so you have the akg headphones uh this is also supposed to be very nice because uh it's supposed dolby atmos and uh, this is almost six thousand rupees guys if you have to buy it separately so this is a very good pair of headphones i've used it and it sounds really nice we also have some extra s pen tips here and the fast charging cable that goes with the charger here and also we have some additional earbuds so that's it nothing else in the box here so we'll just skip this aside so guys let's boot up the phone now here it comes so Samsung has recently started marketing its Knox product as well. So you could have seen Samsung Galaxy Note 9 by Knox, protected by Knox, sorry, and powered by Android. That was very quick, guys. So we are into the device now. So... I had actually already set up the password and pin here so I will just quickly unlock it because after restarting you have to put your password so here we go guys so this is the device in itself is huge so I will make a detailed video later but today I just wanted to show you the unboxing and uh, yeah I will also show you the S Pen before doing that let me see what are the ports that this guy has here this is the USB port for charging and thank God they have kept the headphone jack here where you can use any stereo headphones this is the speaker grill here and there is one more speaker here so that you can get the stereo effect um, at the back the dual camera this position with the LED flash here this is the volume rocker button this is the big speed button that a lot of there are a lot of bad reviews going around the market because big speed is something which Samsung wanted to push it here in the note 9 device for dedicated button and I have heard that you cannot reprogram it, but let me look at it myself and then I'll uh, post it in the next video I make. This is the power button here. And uh, that's about it. Here is the SIM tray along with the dual SIM or you can use a micro SD card here. And uh, this is the S Pen, Samsung Signature S Pen. And this guy looks really nice here with the yellow color that matches with the blue tip. And this comes with, this looks like an actual pen. And guys, I have heard that Samsung has given this in the market. And then we might be having more and more applications for the S Pen itself. This has Bluetooth capability. Well, I'm not showing this in the video here. But yes, I will show in the next video that I made. And uh, so this is the note nine guys and let me come back with the next one thanks a lot bye bye see you in the next one